Boy, it's windy up here. It concentrates the light into a beacon for wayward vessels. Makes a man proud. This is where the lighthouse light would go, if it had one. With all these broken windows, it's no wonder the light blew out. It's broken. Perfect! The lighthouse is working now. Intimidating. Who are you? I... I am the lost Welshman. Ooh. I am the ferryman between here and Skull Island. Trapped for so very long in the icy ocean mists. Oh, how I hate that blasted mist. Really? I like mist. I think it's pretty. Well, sure, mist is pretty. But egad, is it dull. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I will risk these rough waters no more. For too long have I rocked in that watery cradle of death. Freaky imagery. Whatever. Anyway, I'm not going out there again until I'm sure I can make it there safely. I need a compass. How will being able to draw perfect circles get you out to Skull Island? Not that kind of compass. The directional kind. If you find me one, I'll take you to Skull Island. I don't think he'd like that. It's full of seawater. Cool, a magnetic pin. The mind boggles at the possibilities. The pin just sinks. I need to make it float. Okay. Hey, neat! It points north. Science is fun when you know the secret. Here, take this compass. This is a compass. Will it work? Of course. See how it points north? Wow, that's incredible. How'd you do that? Eh, it was nothing. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. All right, let's go. The bravest of men must dread the horror of this place. Steal your courage, boy, now, before you gaze upon the terrible, horrible face of... Skull Island! That's a duck! What are you talking about? Don't you see the skull? This island doesn't look like a skull at all. It looks like a great, big, enormous duck. It should be called Duck Island. Well, you see, you, you gotta squint and sort of turn your head and... Ooh, it's just so scary. If you squint and turn your head, it looks like a bunny. Well, anyway, see that light up there on the cliff face? That's Smuggler's Cave. It's rung by King Andre, the greatest smuggler in the world. And his nefarious assistant, Cruff. But how do I get up there? You'll have to go to the top of the cliff. Won't you be coming with me? No, you must go alone. There will be someone there who will help you. But I warn you, beware of King Andre. He is as ruthless as he is bald. Good luck. Thanks.
bet he can help me find the smuggler's cave. Hello. Can you tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull Island? Beats me. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> uh, I, I think I remember something about that at the orientation seminar. Let me think. The cave is halfway down this sheer cliff face. Climb on board this dumbwaiter. I'll, I'll lower you down. It looks pretty rickety. Are you sure it's safe? No. Never used it before, but uh, I'm sure it can't be that dangerous. I'm a temp here. The, the usual elevator operator, uh, Braunbeard, uh, he's sick, so I'm filling in. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. What's your name? It's LaFoot. Would you lower me down to the smuggler's cave? Sure, sure, I can do that. You, you must weigh no more than, say, 20 pounds, right? Uh, actually, more like 120. Oh. Well, it can't hurt to try, right? No, you're sure about this. Oh, yeah. You don't look that heavy at all. Hmm. Is that not tied securely? Here we go. Okay, give me a little bit more slack. Whoops! Okay, that's too much slack. Stand aside or I'll strike you down. Uh, I'll strike you down with how polite and reasonable I can be. We seem to have an unwanted visitor, Gruff. Deal with him. Darn. Let me try that again. Hi there, neighbor. Got any diamonds? Wouldn't you know, but I'm fresh out. Go away. Darn. Let me try that again. So, uh, where's this huge diamond you guys are supposed to have? Have at him, Croft. Darn, let me try that again. Good afternoon, I'm the new Skull Island Diamond Inspector. I'm going to have to see every diamond you've got. Every last one. Come on, people, chop, chop. I don't have all day. I do not like this man. Kill him. Darn, let me try that again. I have got so much money, it's almost embarrassing. Well, hello. Let's talk, Mr. Uh... Threeport. Guybrush Threeport. Very well, Mr. Threeport. I am King Andre, and this is my associate, Gruff. Were you looking for something in particular? The Good Soup Family Diamond. The Chuck stole it, you bought it, I want it. Now. <clears throat> Please? Sir? But we have so much quality merchandise here at the Pirates Club. Our prices get lower every day. Everything a pirate or pirate in trading could possibly want is here. For the right price. <laughs> I don't get it. The Good Soup Diamond is the centerpiece of my collection. The fantastic energy flowing through it is the key to all my power. So, can I have it? Of course you can't have it. Unless you were to give me something in return. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Threepwood. I expect you to buy. Your evil plan will never work, Andre. But it is flawless. A carefully placed series of charges laid throughout Blood Island, all controlled by a network of satellites in geosynchronous orbit. And only one man has access to the master switch. Uh, boss. I am that man, Threepwood, and... Boss? Yes, Mr. Croft. Ixnay on the evil lamp play? Ah, yes, of course. You're a madman. Am I mad? Am I? <laughs> Is it madness to sit in a cave at the top of a deserted island, accumulating vast amounts of gold and jewels and stuffed animals, stockpiling plunder from across the Caribbean and passing the savings on to you? Is that madness or genius? Good point. I take it back. I'm not crazy. My prices are! That diamond belongs in a museum. So do post-impressionist paintings, Mr. Threepwood. So do post-impressionist paintings. What the heck is that supposed to mean? One day, you will understand. Maybe we could make a deal. As you wish. 
You are a formidable opponent, Mr. Threepwood. But it looks as if our game of cat and mouse must cease. It is a perfect diamond, one of the largest I've ever seen. I'll take it. And so it comes with a very large price. Eh, enough with the hard sell. How much? It will cost you an awful lot of money. Do you have that much? Well, I have a lot of money. <laughs> Not enough. My partner is right. We can't give it to you for anything less than an awful lot of money. But perhaps we can make a deal. My partner and I are very fond of cards, uh, poker in particular. How about a little wager? If you can defeat us at poker, you win the diamond. Sounds fair. Yes, fair. <laughs> Could you stop laughing like that? It's very unnerving. So, Mr. Threepwood, the question is to you. Care to join us in a game of cards? Sounds fun. Deal me in, Baldy. You will have to pay to enter the game. Well, how much do I need? Not very much. Sure, I can handle that. This is a lot of money. I better only give them part of it. Have you ever played poker before, Mr. Threepwood? No. Would you believe this is my very first time? <laughs> then I'll give you a brief explanation. The game is the simplest variety of five-card stud. I deal five cards to each of us. We show our cards to each other, and the player with the best hand wins. Well, how do I know what makes the best hand? If you have any questions, just ask us. You do trust us, don't you? Of course I trust you. Very well. Let us begin. Hey, dealer, 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 swing, dealer. Take a moment to look at your cards. Wow, it's huge! And not a curse on it. Hmm. Hmm. Two of spades, three of hearts, four of clubs, eight of clubs, and uh, king of diamonds. What a terrible hand. Five of a kind. Right there. Not even you guys can beat five of a kind. You're correct, Mr. Threepwood. We cannot beat five of a kind. The question remains, however, whether or not you can beat a pair. A pair? A pair of murderous smugglers. Huh? Us, Mr. Threepwood. I'm talking about us. We're gonna kill you. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Whether or not you can beat a pair, that's pretty clever. Now, now, gentlemen, let's not be too hasty. There's a delivery man out here with a package. You idiot! You blew out the lights! I got the diamond. Not for long, you little... Bert! Hit him, not me, you cretin! Who are you calling up? Oh. Got what I needed from the smugglers. Good. Let us leave this place of evil. Good luck on the rest of your adventures, Guybrush. What? You can't mean... I'm afraid so. This work is too dangerous for me. I'm going to find a more stable, secure line of work. I hear there's still an opening for a chef on Scab Island. Well, you'll be sorely missed. I know. But my destiny lies out there, somewhere, beyond the rolling waves. Farewell, good friend Welshman. Oh, wait. Where'd you say Scab Island was again? East by northeast. You can't miss it. No, oh, thanks a bunch. Ah, whoops. I forgot to tell him that a magnetized pin will only have compass-like properties for a short time. Search for 
for my bride to be. Where's Dingy Dog? I found him! I found him! Yeah! <laughs> oh golly, oh gosh! Yeah, yeah, that's right! Uh, they're on Blood Island, sir. Eat them! Let's see if this slippery, greasy lotion does the trick. That should do it. It's a massive diamond engagement ring. There's something big, shiny, and cursed keeping me from putting on this ring. The cursed ring exploded! Elaine, are you all right? Guybrush? Where? Where are we? You're okay. We're on Blood Island. LeChuck's ring had a terrible curse on it, but I put everything right. You're safe and everything's gonna be fine. Just fine. <laughs>